Hey guys, I'm back with another review uh, for the Wolverine Wave, Wave 71. I decided to do uh, two of these packs together because uh, the army builders in this set, <coughs> uh, the two, these are comic book store exclusives. Uh, you got Silver Samurai and Army Builder Hand Ninja in one pack, and you got uh, Ninja Attack Wolverine in the other pack. Um, very cool so sets. Again, I mean, this wave is outstanding. Uh, the hand ninjas are something that a lot of people want. I personally have quite a few of the old ones. but This, sec this is the second time they've made actual comic hand version ninjas. Uh, and they are much, a little bit different anyway, I guess, than the original ones. Um, they're pretty cool. Uh, so far, from what I can see, inbox. Um, and then, of course, Silver Samurai, who's a longtime Wolverine uh, villain. It's pretty awesome to have him. He's definitely somebody who should be added to the pantheon of uh, Mini Mate Wolverine villains. Um, definitely a, a welcome Mini Mate. And then, of course, fourth one is the Ninja Attack Wolverine. Uh, he's pretty darn cool for something that's new. Um, he, you know, it's just it's basically a yeah, shirtless Wolverine with. Uh, he comes with a torso piece that's full of arrows. And the funny thing with this was uh, on Instagram. A uh, guy with an account called uh, Made for Robots did this really cool uh, Wolverine shot with um, arrows stuck in his back. And then uh, I ripped it off about a week later, um, pretty much, and did a different shot with Wolverine with a bunch of arrows in his back. Um, and then, coincidentally, three months later or something like that, they announced this. And here's Wolverine with a bunch of arrows in his back. It's kind of weird coincidence unless DST is following made for robots uh, account decided to rip him off too either way we've seen Wolverine with a bunch of arrows in his back already so it's not like it's anything uh, to do anyways very cool uh, custom Wolverine custom um, and let's uh, take them out of the pack and take a look at them all right so we got them unboxed uh, the two hand ninjas come with quite a bit actually. They come with uh, bow and arrow, sword, sigh, and sickle. Um, Silver Samurai actually is holding one of the uh, hand ninjas uh, swords. But they come with quite a bit. Um, and the design on the character actually, the, the hand ninjas look great. The only thing that I don't really like about them is their heads have no articulation. I mean, you're pretty much looking straight forward. You can maybe get away with tilting the head a little bit for pictures, but uh, otherwise that headpiece is one solid piece. Um, but otherwise, the design on the front of their cloaks and the actual new hood piece, it's different than the last one. They're very well done. It's just that you can't pose a head, which kind of stinks, but kind of doesn't. It's it, it looks good, but uh, you just can't do much with it as far as turning the head. Um, but they're, it's pretty awesome. They come with plenty of uh, accessories, which is always welcome. Um, they're very uh, a welcome addition to uh, the Mini Mates. And I know a lot of guys are still looking for them. A lot of people out there are still looking for uh, hand ninjas. And, you know, you can't just have two. You've got to have like five or six. So this will give people the opportunity to pick up more. Uh, the next one character I'll go with is Silver Samurai, who I think they really did, oh, did themselves with him. Um, there's a lot of design, a lot of uh, recycled pieces on him, but the best part of him is that impresses me the most is his skirt. Um, his skirt, the problem with skirts on most uh, characters is there's no leg articulation. They're pretty much standing straight up and down. He can't do much with them as far as posing their legs. This one, uh, he's very posable with that uh, skirt of his. He can bend his legs in all sorts of, all sorts of ways. Um, they did a very good job with him, very good paint on him. Uh, he's definitely gonna be a favorite uh, going, on, going forward. He'll definitely be in more than a couple pictures of mine. Um, so last, uh, last but not least, we got Wolverine. Uh, and he's pretty standard uh, battle damage Wolverine. Not a lot of bat damage to his chest, just without a shirt, but his pants are kind of ripped up and stuff. Did a pretty good job with his mask. Um, the very first 90s Wolverine I 
ever on. The eye slits were too small and they're kind of lower than they should be, but the mask turned out great. The colors are very vibrant on this character too. That's another thing I've noticed since I've taken them out of the box is they're very rich colors. Um, let's transform him quick into Arrow and we'll put, put his hair piece that came with him on him too. So yeah, nice simple transformation with the ripped shirt. Uh, they did a really good job sculpting this. Um, yeah, it's very cool. That's a very good idea for a variant Wolverine. Um, it's nice and simple that, I mean, I'll welcome it to my collection for sure. Um, kind of like the face too, he's got the angry face. Uh, normal hair piece, but um, very cool uh, Wolverine mini mate. Uh, looks like one of the arrows is kind of bent, but um, to straighten that out for for pictures somehow but uh otherwise yep that's uh pretty much the four pack or the the two two packs with the army builder in it um yep pretty cool set um i'm gonna set them up for a picture and uh we'll get these guys i'll pause it and we'll we'll get them set up and we'll show you the picture that i'm going for so here's what i'm going for uh Basically, Wolverine probably having the caption for Silver Samurai say something like, "You should not have come back to Magipur, or Japan, Wolverine," and um, do a little bit better lighting. Finish off the background since you can see behind that building and construction site. Um, but uh, that's a shot I've had planned out since these guys, since I knew these guys were coming out. Uh, been waiting for Silver Samurai for a long time, and yeah, this. Uh, Arrow and Wolverine uh, figure sure is is uh, cool. So, anyways, check out my Instagram, uh, Mini Mate Masterworks. I have a link in my bio or my description. Um, and uh, anyways, catch you guys on the flip side.